let's take a look now. Anthony Davis's numbers. Tremendous numbers for him over the last 10 games. Third in blocks. And he's among the top 15 in rebounding. Just a powerful presence in the paint. And I like the fact that he's committed to dominating in that category as a shot block. His awareness and hustle really off the charts. And the Rockets making a change here. Booker's checked in. New Orleans in the lead. They set the pick. Really? Why would I be on this? James Harden with the rebound. Most of the time, that shot will go down. So the defenders have to make sure they tag. New Orleans is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Anderson outside. Cunningham gets to Anderson. Feeds it to Cunningham. Five to shoot. From 20 feet out. And the jumper falls for him. Anderson's got his first two points of the night. Rockets trail by three. Freak with it. Who's coming off a 25-point game against Brooklyn? That is good. Here's Cole. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Incredible, incredible body control right there. Don't know how he was able to get that one to go. But it sure was a thing of beauty to watch. Dishes it to Freak. Kicks to a reason. There's the pass to Booker. Great use of the pick to create room for the jumper. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. The dish to Bondexter. The feed to Anderson. Here's Cole. His three-pointers off the mark. Rockets trail. Smooth passes to Harden. Now here's Freak. Guarded closely. Shoots from 12. Pelicans with the rebound. Want to keep I wanted him to go for a layup. Against Memphis. And then in that game, guys, I mean, the beneficiary of what was some very lackluster defense being played against him. Agreed, guys. It was really... If I would have went up, it would have made... How many free runs to the hoop they got. Pelicans shooting 40% here in the early stages. And Anderson kicks to Bondexter. He dishes it to Cole. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. Tipped away. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pelicans will retain possession. This break in the action gives us a chance to show you the NBA's current fast break specialists. In third, the Pelicans. You know, it's an entertaining style of play. And look, I mean, those are the baskets you want if you've got the legs for it. Scoring becomes a lot easier. Anderson outside. He kicks to Pondexter. Five to shoot. Cunningham dishes it to Anderson. D2 from Pondexter. Rebounded by Capella. Houston's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Smooth passes to Capella. Harden outside. And a wide open look for Freak. And he misses the go-ahead basket. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going in this quarter. A nice shot by Pondexter. Norris. Timeout charge to Houston. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. Here in the early going. And of course, he's been what, two spots down the ladder right now. And I think for New Orleans, they have performed above and beyond expectations thus far. As good as they've been, is it fair to wonder just how long they can keep this up? Of course it is. I mean, I'll tell you this. They may have snuck up on some of their opponents here in the early season, but they're not sneaking up on anybody anymore. Teams will be ready for them. Here's Cole, defended by Beverly. Anderson is screen on Beverly. And Cole kicks to Anderson, passes it to Osh. Back to Anderson, takes the three. 
can't get it to go. And Houston the other way, coming off that loss against the Nets. They played well enough to win that game. It really could have gone either way. Yeah, you've got to play the entire uh, four quarters. I mean, they played well for three and a half quarters. And that's just not enough. You can't expect to win if you don't play a full game. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Cunningham dishes it to Pondexter. And here's Anderson for three. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. And they're just raining threes on both ends. Boy, I love the answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back with my own triple. And it's more penetrating, and that's going to do it. Some good defense down the stretch. Tied up 24 to 24. We got to pick up a win here. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. The guys from the Rockets, mixing with a big group substitution here. Booker, he's checked in for Capella. Lisa comes in for Michael Beasley. James Harden, he's checked in for each one more. And Freak subbed in for Patrick Beverly. So for New Orleans right now, we've got Quincy Pondexter. Omer Ashik is out there with Anderson. Then it's Norris Cole, and it's Cunningham in at the small forward. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Nets put on a show. He ended with 25 points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what was a great exhibition on his part. We could see his role in this offense expand if he puts together more games like this one, guys. Thank you, Doris. He was the player they uh, leaned on that night. He didn't disappoint him. Not at all. Came through in a big way. Whatever they needed from him, he was able to deliver. Well, I think he actually gave them a little more than what they needed. Terrific all-around effort. And Cole kicks to Ashik. Here's Cole. He's guarded by Smooth. And there's the call on Howard. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And, and really a tough break for the D. Greg, no problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. Pondexter kicks to Cole. Here's Anderson. Another one falls for New Orleans. And I cannot get any more rebounds because they, whenever I go for a rebound, they make it. really good at using his size to free himself up for those mid-range jumpers. A master of New Orleans has gone 0-2 from deep during the second. There's the screen. Cole's shot is good. Cole's got five now. You know, a huge height advantage there, but because of the great body control, oh my fucking he's able to cancel it out. Agreed. The body control essential in that situation. I mean, if you're giving up a bunch of height, then you better be able to manufacture things in the air. Ashik with the bucket. Purely from a size standpoint, that is a mismatch that's going to be hard to overcome defensively. Smooth shot is off. Sheesh. It's a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's costly. Clark, this offense has really been clicking. No doubt about it. Giving the defense all kinds of trouble. And they know it, guys. They're playing right now with the kind of energy that is hard to deal with. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. He's starting to start to heat up from outside. That's his third for the game. His second in this quarter. Pass to Washington. He feeds it to Cole. He scores the basket. That's field goal number three for him. Eight of the last ten points at that end of the court have been scored on very high percentage shots in the paint. And really, there is no resistance defensively right now. It is just far too easy. I swear that went right through my fucking hands. To the wing right side. Anderson outside. Pass to Cunningham. That's tipped and stolen by Freak. Ariza goes in, and he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Yeah, how about the sharp steal and then run out? It looks like they're ready to put the hammer down. Well, we've been waiting for one of these teams, Greg, to pull away. Maybe that'll be a springboard for him. Could be. A dunk like that coming off a great defensive play has to build some momentum. Clock at four. Cole, the pass to Pondexter. And here's Anderson from the arc. And Smooth pulls it down. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck to beat here. It's just not his night. Harden dishes to Booker. Snatched away. Oh, my God. Here's Cole. 
It's rebounded by Houston. Howard's got rebound number seven for him tonight. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. And, Greg, we've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Feeds it to Booker. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Another trip to the strike for him. And I'll tell you what, a little bit of a different feel here in the second quarter. A little more banging going on. Man, and it's really served them well. Seeking out the contact you mentioned and putting pressure on the defense. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. Here's Cole. And again, no good by New Orleans. Houston leading by four to the paint. Harden left side. Pelicans pull it in. Cunningham's got his fourth rebound in this one. Cole. And the first half comes to a close. We've got a close game going on here. Rockets lead by... Yes, guys, I'm here. We got to beat the Pelicans this time around. We let them win last game. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the... Rockets trailed by six. Smooth in a shooting guard. Trevor Booker is out there with each one more. Then it's Patrick Beverly. And it's Capella in at the front. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession. What the? And a chance here to look at... Bullshit. About five points a game, four assists, and two rebounds. And, and the numbers won't wow you, but I like the effort he brings to the table each and every night. Yeah, great hustle, does all the little things. Just a there you go. complimentary guy to have on your team. Omer Ash, he's checked in for Davis. New Orleans leading by four, and Cole kicks to Anderson. Got that one up quick. Anderson's got 11. Guys, we have seen them with a lot of good ball movement. Well, you like the smooth operating they're showing you here. I mean, things are clicking, and more importantly, it makes them tough to defend. Clark, what you know about Sade? Smooth operator. But I, I agree with you. I think we're all seeing that right now. Yes, indeed. Oh, my God. It's going to be a three-second call. That was bullshit. Because I couldn't get out because for some fucking reason they had some stupid... They had me post up with this other guy. And you look at Anderson, one of the league's best, third in free throw percentage. That is a well, that just fucking happened, didn't it? players at the free throw line. We haven't seen them struggle there as some of their brothers in the big man fraternity have. Well, you know, I want to be careful about making a blanket statement here. There are a lot of big guys who are really steady at the line. And this group proves that size is not a hindrance when it comes to free throw prowess. Cole's shot is good. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? Greg, no question about it. They found a nice rhythm from deep. And Moore kicks to Capella, lays it up and banks it in. Capella's got six. They're forcing the ball inside. And it's working beautifully. It, it really is. Five out of six of their last field goals have come from the paint. Great opportunity right there. He's got such tremendous length. He can just rise up and get separation for the three. Rockets trail by 11. Now here's Beverly. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Here's Smooth. And Ushik sends it back. Wow. I, get, I lose that. I, I... Kicks to I lose points for block. Here's Gordon. Excellent D from Smooth. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. They set the screen. The pass to Booker. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. Quincy Pondexter, who's checked in for Dante Cunningham. 
Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Pelicans. We've seen them make 